Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how you can install Drupal 8 on XAMPP uh, server environment, on your XAMPP local server environment. And yes, let's get started, but before we start let's make sure that our server and that our MySQL database is running. So open your XAMPP control panel and just click on start for your Apache server and for your MySQL database. And once these buttons show stop, that means that your server is running and you are well to go. So next thing what we will do is we will go to Drupal site. So Drupal.org as I, I think it was Drupal.org and now we need to find where and like you know guys I'm always doing everything with you so you know if I'm making some mistakes you know how I'm solving them straight away so you learn how we developers work so and I haven't been installing Drupal for a while so I will do it with you right now so as you see Drupal 8.1 is now available we can click on that and we go download Drupal 8.1.0 okay and we will download zip file as you see here I will grab download zip file and while our file is downloading let's prepare database for this and to prepare actually I will do it one by one step by step let's first download it so now it's downloaded as you see 19.5 megabytes and now we can find this file in our downloads. If you go to downloads, you will see your, we, we installed in previous video a WordPress server showing you how to install. Now we are working with this Drupal. Whether you click here on this Drupal double click or in your downloads, just double click on this folder. And we will be extracting, we are not buying anything. We will be extracting it to our htdocs directory where all our uh, applications in XAMPP environment live or are located or PHP applications. So let's first open and make sure that there is no other Drupal installation. So I go to C, as you see it's, we are in C now, then we go to XAMPP. So now I am in C XAMPP and now let's click into htdocs directory. And we see that there is some Drupal site from some ancient, ancient times for a long time ago, which I was probably installing. And so we don't really have anything here, so we can extract with no problem. So let's go back to downloads and double click on this Drupal. And we don't need this as well. And we'll click here on this extract too. And if you don't have WinRAR, then you could find it on Google and install WinRAR on your computer. Actually, I will create a tutorial how you can get WinRAR so you can extract all your files the same way as I do if you don't have it. So you can check my install uh, playlist to have a look if you don't have this WinRAR because I will create it actually after this video. And then just click on extract to and then we go again to Windows, whatever Windows you are using, it doesn't really matter, you go to this Windows OS C and then you find here XAMPP because XAMPP directory is always installed by default here. Double click on it and then just once click on HDDocs so it's marked. So it means that we will be extracting all this directory or uh, Drupal 8 into this HDDocs so we will be able to find it in htdocs directory and click OK and now it will extract all Drupal 8 files to that directory. Actually we could build database and to build database you go to localhost local host forward slash php my admin okay and we will build database for this installation because we can do it now until it's extracting. And once you are in your PHP My Admin, you just click in databases. You log in if you are not logged in. Usually, uh, username is root, and if you haven't set up any passwords when installed your XAMPP environment, then you don't have password. Just click enter, and you will get redirected into here. Normally, we would create a user account for particular database, but I will not be doing. I will be using root 
for this particular installation as well. So let's click on databases and here we will say Drupal Drupal test. Okay, I call my database Drupal test. You can call your database however you are pleased to and now click click create and here on the right hand or on the left hand side you see our Drupal test the uh, database has been created it's now empty and it's prompting me or asking me to create tables but I will and how many tables we want to create but we will not be creating it we just prepared place where we will be creating our this Drupal um, Drupal tables when it will be finish installing as you see we are almost there it's 81 82 percent 83 we're almost done and then we will start working with this okay and we could open straight away that windows it's like c and we go zamp as you remember and into hd docs and here we will have as you see here drupal dash 8.1.0 this is directory which actually is site and we can rename this directory at whatever we want to rename it to we don't have to leave it drupal-8.1 uh, we can name it and we can rename it at any time actually after even when we install this particular drupal but i will rename it now i will say it drupal test i will call it drupal test as you see we have finished installing here so i will rename it and I will just double click and I will say Drupal test Drupal test this will be my directory's name as you see Drupal test and now to access this Drupal test we need to go back to our browser and then we go localhost localhost forward slash and as you know all directories or all applications are in hdocs directory and they are after this localhost forward slash so uh, drupal test we called our directory drupal test okay and click enter and now we're in localhost drupal test and this will open as index of that directory and you see now that we can start installation and use first thing where first step is to choose language and you can choose whatever language you want i will leave i will leave it english and click save and continue it's now installing installing something and we say standard i will leave standard choose profile select installation profile i will leave it standard we don't need minimal we need standard save and continue now it's again saving and continuing and going forward and here is where we add our database name and as you remember i called my database drupal test right and we don't need any user database username no for database username you use root because as you remember i didn't create any username for this database i and my default username in that case is root if you have any username when you are logging in to XAMPP, you use that here if you haven't created any user for this particular database and then you specify database password and i don't have password for my database so i delete it but if you are logging in to XAMPP with some password specify it here and this is pretty much it and we click save and continue and this will create a database just wait a little bit now it's creating database and actually you see we jumped to install site and it's now installing and initializing database when it, it will connect to our database and it will add tables into that database which are required for this drupal site to run so we're almost there it's already 37 out of 40 and yes guys if you find my videos useful then please subscribe as it means too much uh, it means really much to me and helps my channel grow and leave likes under my videos so they promote my videos and other people can see these videos tutorials 
okay okay 39 out of 40 so we're almost done and actually when i cre when i was installing first time drupal 8 when it just was released it was about i don't know five or six months ago not sure then i had a lot of problems with installation i had about three bugs which i needed to resolve and i want to know will we have the same bugs in this version of drupal which is 8.1.0 hopefully they have resolved these problems and we won't have these bugs anymore i, I remember i had op cache bug and things like that but let's see how will it go with this version of drupal and by the way guys, if you want another tutorials, you just let me know what tutorials, what technologies you are interested in and what videos, PHP, JavaScript, jQuery, jQuery Mobile or Ruby, Ruby on Rails, Java, any other technologies which you would be interested in. I have a large experience in programming, in development and uh, graphic design even like illustrator photoshop uh, indesign you just let me know what videos you want and i will create give give me ideas pretty much in comments under this video what videos else you would like to see and what tutorials you would like to see and i will create videos for them so again it takes time okay here we go site name you could give whatever site name you want i will give it a uh, drupal test drupal test as i called this site email address i will give martin web developer, web developer at gmail.com okay username i will leave the same username password I will leave my password. You can give your password. These will be those things, uh, those actually username for your login into your website. And this will be password for your website. I know it, and that's why I don't need to really check it. And confirm password. Okay, I will confirm it. And then we go email address. This is email address. Uh, Martin will blah. blah, blah, blah regional settings default country you could set whatever country you want i am in in ireland so i will set up ireland and default time zone europe berlin whatever it is there i don't really care and save and continue and this should create our website or drupal for us and in previous versions it was redirecting to login page so we can log into our website by using these credentials which we just created this username and this password will be login details and you could add and more users if you want and if you have been working with Drupal you pro should probably know it uh, or change your password to your account because you will be as admin for this website for this Drupal website okay okay guys congratulations you installed drupal welcome to drupal test and we are in and yes guys this is pretty much it and here is here you go here is your website and uh, if you have been working with drupal at all you know what all means and here you can see that you can re put this bar here on the left hand side and if you want it to be on top of you just click here on this arrow on top and this is very good feature for Drupal 8 because yes this is it this is installation this is how you install Drupal 8 and if you have any questions leave them below under this video like this video and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and see you in my next videos